Hello and welcome to Mobile Gaming News Weekly. We are the gaming on phone team that specializes in bringing weekly mobile gaming news to your feed at the earliest availability. Now, to start off the week, Sony has shown interest in entering the mobile game market. During Sony's corporate meeting, there are mentions of bringing Sony IPs to the mobile platform so you can start thinking about how you play God of War and Uncharted on your mobile device. Now, owning a large amount of hit IPs, Sony's entrance into the mobile gaming industry is quite monumental as years of console experience gets transferred to your mobile device. Now, if this truly is Sony's route that they're going to take, then you are in luck. Developer, Developer Digital, has posted on their Twitter that they plan on dropping a weird free-to-play mobile game this year. The game Fall Guys itself is pretty wacky, so we don't expect anything less weird from these new releases. But regardless of its weirdness, Fall Guys was a success and let's hope these two new games are successes as well. Square Enix is back at it with the announcement of a new mobile puzzle game, which is also a spin-off of the Dragon Quest series. The game is called Dragon Quest Keji Keshi and it celebrates the series' 35 year long run. Not much is known about the re release date of the game, but we are sure to inform our Dragon Quest fans at the earliest available time. So Dragon Quest fans, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications so you don't miss out. Lyft Games, the developer behind AFK Arena, Rise of Kingdoms and Warpath is about to release a new 3D shooter game called Far Light 84. Recently, they even revealed its flagship play mode, Hunt. The mode includes up to 48 players and each team has a marked player who is hunted by the enemy teams. Upon killing the marked player, enemy teams will receive points, and after receiving the points, players can go to the evacuation site or to choose to eliminate all their other opponents in cold blood. Though not much is known, the game is presumed to be released next year. Turborilla has developed its highly anticipated racing game, Mad Skills Motocross 3. Featuring wild physics, realistic motorcycle models, and a whole ton of customization, and more, the game looks to deliver an accelerating experience for its players. As the game has now received its global release, motorcycle fans should not miss out on it. Metal Revolution, a brand new mecha fighting game, has just entered beta testing. With the help of Google Play Beta, the beta testing of the new fighting game is now available for players all around the world. Being able to choose from a wide variety of fighters, you can choose one that fits your playstyle, be it aggressive, defensive, or just plain wacky. Each fighter contains their own fighting style, originating from human fighting styles such as Muay Thai and even Katana wielding. The first official show match of the game will be on the 5th of June, where the first place will get up to 1000 USD. Participants will receive in-game currency of their choice and a special avatar frame. Now, other than Sony looking to expand into the mobile market, Outfit 7 also looks to do so as well. Outfit 7 plans to introduce new titles such as Mythic Legends and Swamp Attack to the mobile platform. Other than that, they also look to launch My Talking Angela and Talking Tom Gold Run 2 globally this summer. Outfit 7 looks to have a lot planned for us, so what do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below. So that wraps it up for this week's mobile gaming news. So until we meet again, Goodbye and thank you for watching.